Good morning, St. Francis. It is February the 22nd, 2021. It should be the second day of Lent, second day of Lent, uh, after the Lent proper beginning uh, this past Sunday, uh, yesterday. Uh, but it is actually the feast of the chair of the Apostle Peter. It is one of three uh, feast solemnities uh, that kind of preempt the Lenten celebration. So we get into the first full week of Lent and all of a sudden we can't celebrate the first day of Lent or the second day of Lent because we have to look at the chair of Peter. Um, before I get to that, just coming to you from our chapel out here on this kind of, it's again, it's not a little chilly morning, but it's supposed to get a little bit warmer today. Uh, so just standing out here, uh, let's see. Uh, hopefully again, Lent has begun uh, on Sunday. The four days that led up to that Sunday were the days of preparation so that we could jump into the disciplines of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving generosity with gusto. Uh, it's not giving up something because if you gave up something and then say on Sundays that you can eat it, the Sundays don't count as Lent and try to figure out your number that way it's gaming the system stop doing that it's absurd and there's never it's not it was never a rule nothing no don't do it so looking at today on this second day of lent the feast of the chair of the apostle peter are we feasting a chair no we are not no we are not because the feast of the, the apostle uh the feast of the of the chair of peter uh is actually one of the few replacement feasts in the ancient Roman non-Christian calendar that the Christians take over. February the 22nd was the end of a great, uh, or the beginning of, of a great nine-day festival uh, called the Parentalia, which was to honor all of the ancestors in a family. Uh, it was kind of like All Souls Day uh, for the Romans. And so there were uh, picnics by uh, in cemeteries, by the tombs. They were The tombs were decorated with uh, flowers and garlands and things like that uh, to honor the connectedness between the living and the dead. Again, that is something that we as Christians take up, that connectedness between those who have gone before us, now marked with a sign of faith, for those who have gone before us, whose connections to us are strong and powerful, to remember their linkage to us even beyond death. Which is something important to remember, perhaps, you know, again, on this in this Lenten season, in which, again, we will journey with Jesus to move from death to life. That there is nothing that death can ever prohibit or stop or impede or place an obstacle between in our relationships with each other. And so in today's gospel, Jesus asks the apostles, you know, who, who do people say that I am? Again, we move out of the Lenten readings to do the special readings for this feast of the chair of the apostle Peter. Um, the, the thing about it with Peter being made Pope and keys and things like that, most scripture scholars will say that that was a later addition to kind of prove in some way Peter's, you know, ascendancy and his leadership and what have you, which may have been questionable to begin with. So uh, the fact that Jesus talks about that question or gives that question, who do people say that I am, is a perfect question to be asked during the season of Lent, especially again when Lent, when in the season of Lent, God gives us that great privilege and that great responsibility of really asking why it is that we continue to believe. Even in the midst of a pandemic, even in the midst of the ups and downs of our church, which has created all kinds of trouble throughout the centuries and even recently. Why is it that we continue to believe? Why is it that we continue to trust that there is a God who loves us, that there is a community of faith that can support us, that there's a future that awaits us? Lent allows us these 40 days to be able to come to a decision once again to believe and to embrace that belief with all that we are. We know who Jesus is, who we say he is, and how we say he is, depends upon how we live our lives as believers in the world. May this land give us the strength to be able to do it, the courage and the will to succeed in it. May the Lord give you peace.